Hello, All Star clients, and welcome to the very first episode of the Veterinary Roundtable presented by All Star Veterinary Clinic. Since this is a brand new show, we'd like to gloss over the format that each episode will follow. Then we'll jump right in. That's me. We're yep, that's in. you. Okay. First, I'll run through some housekeeping, which is which is essentially updates about the podcast, our content, and anything we think should be on your radar. Second, we'll break the ice with a few icebreakers, regardless of how well we know the guests on each episode. Third, we'll jump into case collections, where each of us will share an interesting case we've re- recently encountered. And lastly, the client questions, where, where we'll try our hardest to answer a question or concern from one of our clients. So before <laughs> I introduce our guests, <laughs> um, let's go over some quick housekeeping. If you haven't sent us a question for the podcast, please do so. We want all of your questions. Feel free to message us or comment on our announcement video. If you haven't seen our breed tier list video, go show it some love on Facebook, With an L. <laughs> IGTV, and YouTube. Now, let's get to our guests. On today's episode, we have my co-host and associate veterinarian, Hello. Dr. Ashlyn Duckwell, Hello. registered veterinary technician, Becca Kenny, Hello. who I call Fidel, and fellow <laughs> associate Fidel. veterinarian, Dr. <laughs> Lauren Schmoke. <laughs> Schmokey. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Everybody's doing fine? Good. There Relaxed. You. Glad it's my Friday. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. Gosh, that's Rub nice. it in. Jeez. I so. need it to be my Friday. Oh, Sucks to suck. Okay. <laughs> We love each other. So (laughs) before we get started into the case studies, we're going to do icebreakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Duckwall, Mm -hmm. do you want to shoot out the first icebreaker? I would love to. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Who are the two people you want on your team? I guess we could make it. Are these these going to be? Okay. That's what I was going to say. Are these people in your personal life or from the clinic? From the clinic. We don't know. Clinic? We don't care about anyone else. You guys have a vote? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hopefully Charles is not listening to this podcast. <laughs> he was mad he wasn't on it. Oh, uh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> okay, so just from the clinic. Mm-hmm. We're going to go just from the clinic. It's a zombie apocalypse. Pick your two peeps. Mm. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to be really offended if nobody picks me. I'm just kidding. There's no pressure. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to go first. I asked the question. Oh, no. Becca, you go first. <laughs> Why do I have to go first? Because you're next to her. Mm-hmm. Two people? Two. Mm. Jones, ooh, because she can kick ass. She, yeah, she'd be <laughs> scary. To She's come really scary. <laughs> and um, I need like someone super intelligent. <laughs> wow, like card. I don't know how we don't take offense to this. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I feel like Richie's really smart. Richie Jones oh. and Richie. Ooh, interesting wow. selection. That is very interesting. Yeah. We'll have to break this down later yes. in the next Because podcast. Richie is, I don't know, he just seems like a fast thinker. He is. And he he's is. fighting off that water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I would agree. He, Richie would be on my team too. Okay, anyway, go ahead, Schmoke. What do you say? I would probably have to pick Dr. Faust as one mm. of them. Ooh, Ooh she's feisty. She's, she's like, feisty. Yeah. She's stealthy. Yeah, yeah she's she not is. going down without a fight. She's no. a really good teacher, too. She can Ooh. talk the zombies out of being in the apocalypse. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> I don't know. That's it's possible. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I'd probably pick my assistant, Denise, because mm. she just makes me laugh all the time. Yeah. So... She'd yeah. be a good friend she yeah. is a saver of animals, which yeah. you could then eat yes. if you needed to. I, think she knows, I don't like, think she. I think she I would starve. Oh, that. she would starve first. You're right. She would die. Just remember you that an smoke animal. when when, mm. you, when she's. Yeah, she I don't know if she's a vegetarian or not, but she saved a mouse and it was repulsive. It was a baby mouse. It was gross. It, it was, was in the bathroom sink when I Doug was Walt, how washing you my hands. Not here at clinic. Not no, not at all. I'm terrified <laughs> to go in that bathroom now. Just so you know. Um, I, I don't up. go in it anymore. I look this. Yeah, I go in. That me. That's that explains why it's always open. Yeah, probably because <laughs> Doug Wall found a mouse in the sink. <laughs> it's. Clean in there. It's clean in there. Science. <laughs> it is clean there, but I still don't understand where it came from. Maybe I think it's mouse the gave Look birth in the sink. And the dropped then it. thing is kind of dropped down a little bit. We should probably fix that. A mouse definitely gave birth in the ceiling, and it just fell in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Who's your planted it? Who's your people? <laughs> that makes me want to puke. Um, I would have to pick. Hmm. Hmm. When I first read the question, I instantly thought of Cloud. 
Oh, I think man, I was thinking of Cloud, too. She's just, like, so calm, cool, and Can collected. Can I change mine to Cloud? Jones and Cloud. She, <laughs> she would just be like, it's all right. Let's just go over here and see what happens. <laughs> and I'd be like, all right. And then she'd be like, you know what? Like, it's totally fine. If, oh if it's the end, it's the end. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> so that would be a good kind of ease into the situation. And then I would probably have to pick – um. Brown nosing Emily King. Ah, you're so nice. <laughs> Only because if Suck anything, we either <laughs> go, <laughs> we'd go down together laughing, yes. or we'd just laugh. We'd kick it out. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I would pick you too. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, look at that host relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and see who would be the other person I would pick. Though I have to think about this. Um, well. Your I, husband does work here. I well, he yes, I disqualified him. You also have a son. Yeah, I changed mine from um, way. Richie to to Cloud. <laughs> you to Richie to Cloud. So Jones, Jones and Cloud are my peeps. Wow, sorry Richie, sorry Richie. You, I'm thinking you got I might <laughs> need another person. I might go with Faust too. Yeah, she's, she's a good healthy. one. She is feisty. You guys are both probably pretty fast too, so we could run mm. pretty fast. Yeah, we'd figure it out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Faust also knows how to shoot weapons, so there's that. Oh, that's she what? Impressive. She shoots? I think she does. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah so do you. So we got it. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, next question. That was great. Sponsored by the NRA. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Harris uh, is shaking his head uh, on that okay. one. Okay, next question. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. What was your childhood actor, actress <gasps> crush? Oh, da, yes. da, da. I know mine. Oh. oh, wow. Then go for it. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, Ooh. still present day crush? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Wow. He is you are loyal to your crushes. Quite attractive. <laughs> Will always be until he's six feet under. Wow. Wow. Yes. What is it? What What really captures you about um, him? I don't know. I think... I watched Definitely Maybe mm. when I was younger with my sister, and I was like, wow, that guy is really hot. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> ever since. Game over. Love it. First Game movie. over. Okay. And it's been history ever since. Yeah. Okay. We're meant to be eventually. <laughs> I hope your husband is. Sorry, Pat. Either. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Pat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like it. Oh, good. gosh. Me? Yep, you. Um... Probably Chad Michael Murray from oh. Tree Hill. Oh. Yeah. From wait, wait, who's this person? Oh, uh, oh no, oh, oh no! <laughs> Take it away, Schmokey. Tell her who that is. Um, I saw Cinderella him story? on the Cinderella story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one Tree Hill. Yeah. We're what is it? Wintry Hill. Okay, this one is one tree. To... One. Can you pull up a picture? One, <laughs> one tree. Hill. Hill. I don't think We're I ever saw that picture. show. Don't oh, worry. that's right. I was probably working my. Oh, oh, children. Oh, fire. <laughs> well, I was probably sitting oh. on my <laughs> watching with my sisters. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, well. oh, that guy. Well, I could see why you liked him. <laughs> why yeah. does he have a he happy like trail a that's so a long? <laughs> Look at how long his happy trail is. He is he a really large person? <laughs> We're gonna need you to zoom in a little bit. Can't see him very well. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Michael Murray. Okay, no. what's he in now? Is he in anything famous now? Mm, I don't think no. so. I think I he kind of fell off. He fell off the earth. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Look at well, that. That was a good choice. <laughs> Look at that happy trail, man. That's <laughs> I impressive. would have to, if we're talking about how young do you have to be to have this crush? Oh. A younger person? Yesterday? Who cares? Oh, yesterday. That's <laughs> hilarious. Um, I would say from when I was young, young, Scott Baio. Crickets. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Harrison Scott please. Baio. Harrison, <laughs> have you got you guys know no, who Scott now Baio you have to is? Explain who this is. Well, if I see his picture, I bet I know. Come on, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my. Oh, we're going. Back. Wow. <laughs> you said when we were kids, right? Can you yeah, have like, present day? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> wow, that's a keeper. Okay, listen, he's old now. He's like so. You're talking than me. like teenage Scott Baio. Yeah, okay. I'm surprised it wasn't like. Tom Selleck or something. I don't like his mustache. Mm. But he's, uh, that's true. 
Isn't that his signature? Yes. yes. Yeah, it's his sig- yeah. signature. Yeah, so absolutely. Pat's, like, Pat's always like the other oh, person would be Tom Cruise. Like bro. if you're talking about like high school, <laughs> call like Tom Shut Cruise up. was always like somebody that everybody. <laughs> but I didn't. I don't really like Tom Cruise. Why am I even saying his name? Tom Cruise? Hanks. No, Cruise. <laughs> oh, Tom. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, Tom Hanks. I think was really attractive when he was younger. He's got a lot going on. But the yeah, yeah, he yeah. No. What about you? Oh, Paul Walker. Mm. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I did Those cry with blue eyes. Yeah. yeah, that was really sad. Yeah, and, and it was kind ironic. of ironic. Did you see that yeah. story yeah. about how wasn't that the, the story about Van Diesel who walked his Van Diesel? Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, who was no. not a crush of mine? Who walked his daughter down the? Is this a thing? Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. he did. Walk right, his yeah. daughter down the aisle. He said everybody. he would always do that, or something, 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 yeah. or something, something, something. You know, did you know he's only like stories. five foot eight. Being, Vin Diesel's straight. only like five eight. He's like super short. Yeah, wow. I'm sure. They make all those mm. actors look so big, though. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's big, but he's super short, which is really funny to me. He is no Paul I don't Walker. Know he's no. No, Paul yeah, Paul Walker is quite attractive. <sighs> Probably not anymore. Probably not. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years, but like it's 10 years ago. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, number 3. Which decade do you love the most and why? Am I always the first one? Yes, ma'am. Sure. I probably just the 90s cuz that's the year I was born. Mm, that's a good one. 90s. 90s. A lot of good music. Um yeah. Backstreet Boys. Yeah. And Insane. I mean, I was born in that year, so or that decade, so obviously it's the best decade. Okay, clearly, okay. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> obviously, no question. Okay, Smokey. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Oh. So I mean, it's a good decade. Really, nineties. Yeah, nineties. I feel like times were simpler. Yeah, it's <laughs> <Just> easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, were they not? I feel like That's 90s hilarious. was the most relaxed decade uh, ever. Maybe 80s. Uh, 80s. Really 80s. <laughs> totally 80s. Right, 80s. I wasn't born in the 80s. It was before cell phones and all that crap. Well, I mean, in 90s, yeah. your cell phone was like this big. Yeah, I know. But you still had it. You still had but the- But who had it? Like doctors? Were you like, you had I don't rich. know. But that was 80s and before times were simpler. What about when there was phones 90s. in the cars? My, there my mom had a phone email. Yeah. There started to be phones in cars. There yeah. started to be like all of a sudden now you had to have instantaneous like responses Instant to gratification. stuff. And, well, that's nowadays. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just like it. started nowadays, then I hate and just it. Whoosh, yeah. I hate it. Can't so it. that was really hmm. cute that you said <laughs> times were simpler. <laughs> the they were. It they was, were was more towards... simple than now. That's yeah. for sure. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, definitely. I will agree with that. They I was, was not laughing at you. They just, probably didn't have Voceras. How can I? They did not have Voceras in your How can we say that, that nice. 70s or 80s was the best decade when we weren't even alive or thought? Because I mean, don't you like watching movies from those eras? That's true. I was definitely not going to pick 90s. I don't what, know. What, I what gonna, are you going to pick? You were born in the 90s? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 90s, whatever. I pictured you like as an 89er. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to think <laughs> by that. <laughs> Why? Oh, wait, no. Because I'm getting wrinkles? No. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were like you were around my sister's age, 92. which is an 89er. You're a 92er? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm a 94. Don't judge me, audience. I don't know where to look. 94. <laughs> yeah. King Technically, you born? I am the second I was born in, in room. 69. Yeah, yeah. Not to 69. <laughs> 69 was a good That's a good <gasps> song? There is yeah. a song about 1969, yeah. yes. Okay. Whew. So I was a little nervous there. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I don't know what era, but... I I don't know. I like shows like Viking shows. <laughs> so like you're talking like like way era. before mankind ish. Well, well, if they were Vikings, was there was say, Vikings, there are man- those are mankind. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. I like the Jesus times. <laughs> Jesus is was a human. Oh, I know. Oh, my face is red now. <laughs> okay, okay. This the is hunger- a bad question. Okay, the Hunger Games. <laughs> The wait, Hunger you didn't Games answer. has taken no, wait, over. That's a weird question. Has taken what? what she you said. Like? Oh yeah, what did you say? I said eighties. Oh eighties. Oh, you did. Okay, sorry. Continue. Eighties. Yep. There were so many great things about the eighties. Oh, anyway. I bet. I really wish I was born in the eighties. Yeah, it was. Or awesome. lived in the eighties. I should say. Mm. It was really awesome. Okay. The Hunger Games has taken over All Star Veterinary Clinic. Who's the last to survive? Mm. This is like kind of similar to the first question. Yeah. I feel like. I feel like Pulse because nobody can hurt her. <laughs> She's so nice. 
she's such a good person. I would not want to take her down. I feel like I'm that's a good straight answer. Straight to the bottom. Anytime I cuss in front of her, I like. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm. I like try to like say it. I'm like, ah. it's like a child. I just I don't want to hurt her feelings. She just has a pure heart. She does, and I don't. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I gotta stick with Jones because she's feisty. Because she's feisty, and she could literally just kill everyone. She could. That or pregnant Jones or non-pregnant Jones. I don't know. Pregnant Jones was pretty <laughs> feisty. <laughs> but mobility wise, definitely not pregnant Jones. <laughs> yeah, that she was really slow down. She started that. waddling really quickly. Shout out to Lincoln. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Smokey. I have my money on Becca. I think oh. she, she's savage. <laughs> I am pretty feisty. You would totally stab people in the back. I would. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Abby. Oh, oh Abby no, would Abby be. would lose instantaneously. She'd be like, ah, this is a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she would be laughing so hard she wouldn't know who's coming up around and her. And I'd come up behind her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was a good one. <laughs> All right. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, my, I love all foods. I definitely just spilled my drink. <laughs> only one though, if it could be only one thing. One, one thing it says one, meal though, so you could pick one a meal. main portion, a side, and a side. Oh, that's okay. A meal. That's right? kind of, that's a meal. Um, <laughs> I would probably. Oh man, I don't know. Mm. Like I said, I love all foods. Well, what's at your top? I don't know. Oh. Well, then you die. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mine is totally spaghetti and meatballs. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Classic. I could eat it every day. I think yeah, with salad every single day without. Mm. I mean, I mean, I love sushi and I love <laughs> like really good right Asian now. cuisine, know, really but hungry. probably steak, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Nice. Mm. That that's a pretty fun. good meal. Yeah, that that's a Ruth really Chris good. kind of meal. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. What Sponsor. about you? Definitely. <laughs> Sponsor yeah, us with Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Probably tacos. Oh. I feel like you can like change it up. Still consider tacos. Yeah. That's true. Fish tacos, Smart. chicken tacos. Yeah. That's an excellent choice. I would probably have to say, shout out to my mom, um, <laughs> pasta with white sauce Ooh. and chicken and broccoli on top. So like but chicken Alfredo? Be, yeah, but it has to <laughs> AKA I chicken call it <laughs> chicken with white sauce chicken or pasta <laughs> with white sauce with chicken <laughs> chicken alfredo. No, but it has to be the bow tie pasta and it has to be prego. Prego sauce, white sauce. Yeah. Prego has white sauce. Yes, yes they do. it's so good. I'm gonna teach you how to make homemade white sauce. Okay, it's it's so easy. It's probably literally just cream, it, salt, and pepper. It is so freaking good. Harrison, you've had it. Is it good? Yes, it's good. I'm answering for him. <laughs> It is. You have to use a couple of different kinds of cheese. Okay. And like, you know, like so. Is it creamy? Parmesan, Reggiano, and then Parmesan, another kind of Parmesan cheese, and then cream. That means that chicken broth. <laughs> heavy cream. Yes. No, it is. It's it heavy, cream. heavy cream. Oh, yeah. And chicken Otherwise broth. Gross. And Ooh, I'm going to make you some now. I'm going to make you some and bring I it to you. I have to go to the grocery. But it is, no, but it's I literally a 10 minute meal. You, like, you cook your fettuccine or whatever pasta you want. All you right. Know. We're going to do a taste test. Prego okay. and homemade. Everyone knows that homemade. Oh my sauces. god! What, what are you gonna? I'm gonna guess right now. It's gonna taste so much better. Homemade, not to, not against Mrs. Duck, Miss, not Mrs. Duckwall, Mrs. Rang. Ms. Rang. Your last name is Rang. Yeah, the doorbell rang. Rang. <laughs> or I guess a rang a tang. Mm-hmm. Um, boomerang. Um, Duckwall and Rang. At least it's not like Cloud, where her maiden name is Showers. I know that's so cool. <laughs> it it went from Showers to Cloud. It's, like it's really cool. I make fun of her all the time. Yeah, yep. that's clutch. Okay. I am Good bringing talk. white sauce in now that you've said that. I can't wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, so we're on to case collections. Yeah, you you do this one. Okay, so um, one of the things we're going to do is just talk about some of the more interesting cases that we see. And so everybody was given the assignment of coming up with something that they think is interesting. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we here at the clinic have, have on our wall – like in the doctor's office, we have what, yes. what do we call the it? The zebra list. The zebra list. Yes. Um, and so that's where we write down all the names of the 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 just the weird weird cases stuff. that we see that yeah. are really rare. Like we don't get to, they're they're documented and case history, but 
um, they're not things that every veterinarian gets to see all the time. So we've started the zebra list, right? So I think we still need to add to it. We're very yes. behind. Like, we need like there's several things. Tomorrow. I know three I know for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's over by Duckwalls. It's oh, like, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I I <laughs> started corner. writing on the wall. I don't remember why we started it, but I started COVID. with a permanent. What we did? The we did COVID. during COVID. That's when it started everything. And we just started writing with a permanent marker on the wall. Mm-hmm. And we're um, halfway down the wall, and we still have to add. Like you have three. Yeah. I have like probably three. Yeah. Everyone's got. And Schmokey's gonna add now. Yep. She's got to start thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fun. And and it's really cool because not everybody gets to see these types of cases. Yeah. So yep. do, do you want me to go first? Sure. Okay. So mine is severe, which always means it's going to be a good one. <laughs> so, okay. So I have a um, small breed dog. Not I don't own it, obviously, but my client has a small breed dog. Our client has a small breed dog that presented with... Harrison, you're going to show pictures at some point, right? Presented with <laughs> this, like, I'm going to talk in client terms, crusty, oh, I know you're talking oozy, about. Mm. oh, that was like nasty. ulcer, yes, yeah, just nasty. ulcer of skin, malodorous, like stunk, Ugh. you know, like the owner was even like, she smells so bad, just big, like, lesions all over her body. You, did you see? You saw her. Did you see her? Did anybody see her? I, when saw, I, had, I her? had to hold her. Did you see her? Yeah, you I had, know, you I had, had to hold her. Yeah. And so, um, the way we worked up <laughs> the case, well, yeah. and the way we worked up the case was we took skin biopsies. And one of the things you can do um, for all those people listening is you can we used sedation, and then we took these little skin punch biopsies, took samples, and then we sent them to the skin lab, which I call the skin lab, which is at Texas. Yes. And they we send them there. They might want to know why we send them there because. <laughs> They are really good Texas. at reading Skin. dermatohistopathology. <laughs> they actually have people trained specifically yes. at reading pathology as it pertains to skin. Right? We Am love I right Texas. about that? Yes, we love Texas. Okay, so all my samples went there, and then they sent them back. And this dog was diagnosed with severe granulomatous mural folliculitis. What? Folliculite, like follicles? Yeah. Like hair follicles? Yeah. Inflammation of the hair follicles? Yeah. Was it like immune mediated? Yes, what? it's immune mediated. It's very rare. So I feel very special. Oh. Um, and so it's like you never see. They don't know what causes it necessarily. Maybe it's typically related to medication. Huh. Okay. And sometimes it can be related to topical medication. But the dog, this particular dog, has nothing in its history. Was it a poodle? Doesn't that happen? No, it was like a terrier. No, it's like oh. a mix, though. She's like yeah. a terrier something mix. Hmm. Um, and, um, and so the treatment obviously is immunosuppression. Yeah. So our awesome local radiol, um, not radiologist, dermatologist, Dr. Lori Thompson, shout out. Woo! Woo! We love Lori. I was like, texted her and said, I got this diagnosis. <laughs> Help. This is what I think I'm going to do. What do you think yeah. I should do? And she's like, do this, but not that, but do this instead. And I was like, got it. We started the dog on atopica and prednisone. Nice. And I got pictures today and she's improving. <gasps> oh, can we do a before and after Harrison? Yeah. Yes. Pred, Pred is yes. a magic drug. Yeah, Pred, Pred is... and Cyclosporin. Yeah. And we That's got to true. use the generic, Yeah, which yeah. was a lot cheaper. Oh, isn't Atopica like hella expensive? Yeah. yeah. Didn't they, did they eat it? Because it's almond flavored or something weird. Uh, the, they didn't call the and Pred. tell me they hadn't. Okay. But, Ooh. and it's a liquid suspension. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. So, oh, like the it's almond, cheaper. that's like all we cake, need. Wedding that, cake flavoring, that kind of almond flavor. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't it. taste it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna squirt it in your mouth this time. <laughs> but this dog was going. I mean, like, there's no way for this owner to have lived with this dog in their household any longer. Like the it, the you quality of the it. life of the dog was. What was awful. In severe distress, you know, and the owners were so willing to then go ahead and work the case up completely because without the pathology, yeah, one, you're never going to guess that that's what your diagnosis is. It's so strange that you're not, you're going to miss on yeah. hitting the diagnosis. So, so kudos you know to the client means. for working it up. Snaps yeah. for yeah. King. Well, she saved its life. He or uh, she. I don't know about that. The clients did by doing the biopsies. <clears throat> Kudos to everyone. A kudos to everyone. Yes. yes. True. All right. Who's next? Okay. I'll go. Okay. Okay. I have this dog that came in for upset belly. And so, you know, we started the workup of trying to figure out, did she eat something she shouldn't have? You know, the famous foreign body, or was it just like a food sensitivity thing? You know, what was going on? So we took routine abdominal x-rays as we typically recommend in dogs who eat things that they shouldn't or potentially could have. And um, we look for patterns of signs, like maybe they ate something that's not going through. And thankfully it didn't show that, but ironically we found 
two metal um, shapes, not in her stomach, not in her intestinal tract, but oh, up I near her liver and her diaphragm. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 And it was just kind of like, we're looking, we're looking, whoa, what is that? Like, so we call, we talked to the owner like, hey, it looked like needles. And so we were talking like, is this a possibility? And they're like, well, you know, we do some sewing projects and stuff like that. <laughs> sewing and projects. So, but this we was a long time, from time ago. to time. I right. know. I know. And so the dog, we think. We don't know for sure because she can't talk to us, but ate them at some point. But what can happen is they migrate out of the stomach. And so they somehow had gotten out of the stomach That's wall, insane. so to speak. And um, But it wasn't seeming to calming her, cause her harm. So we treat what we need to treat. Long story short, she had to come back a couple other times for GI issues. So we go into surgery and lo and behold, we're right there. Well, our famous, our great uh, surgeon, Dr. Carla Cloud, shout out, snaps, took him out, and uh, we got the needles out. That is so good. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to send them to like a specialty hospital too. Yeah. Originally, like near the liver. The recommendation, because we weren't going into doing surgery, and we didn't know how close they were to the diaphragm, which connects the lungs to the abdomen, which is a big deal. And so um, we had a recommended a CT scan to go figure out more, I guess, in detail how close they were and if they were puncturing like into the the chest cavity but we had to go in anyway so we thought we'd look that's and, crazy yeah. Do, what look. is that dog's clinical signs now in regards to his gi disease i actually just looked it up today just to see and we haven't heard like that she's because we switched her on to um a prescription diet so because thinking it was at this point ibd because there was no foreign body in there and so uh i don't know because it says that she's eating the food and we haven't heard like she's back been back yet. Yeah. So fascinating. So cool. Needles, yeah. man. Needles. How do you swallow a needle? Well, it happens. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think Dudley has a case too. Dudley had yeah, a case. Yeah, Dudley had yeah. the where it came the out the, the back of the or it was it was like trachea. poking out like the back of its neck. Yeah. Remember that? And then I had one when... Allie, didn't uh Rowan swallow a needle? I feel like she did, oh, didn't she? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rowan did. Yeah, and Yikes. then we had I had a, when I was um, worked up at Crider Veterinary Clinic, the, my um, guy that I worked with had a cat who, who had eaten it, but then it was migrating out its <gasps> eyeball. No, did you take the oh, eyeball out? No, he just took out the needle. It was like in a particular location. He was <laughs> able to extract. It. Yeah, Ugh. that's crazy. Isn't that cow. crazy? He was like, oh, my God. It was like the craziest thing. It was like one of those like instances oh where we were all like, what? You know, kind of yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That's cool. That yeah, was cool. That was a very cool. Story. <laughs> what about you? Do you have, do you have um, one that you've seen? One most recently, I think it was a couple months ago. Again, it was um, Dr. Cloud. And it was a 14-year-old intact female Yorkie mix, but it kind of looked more like a poodle mix. Um, <clears throat> I diagnosed it. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Shout out to me. Um, anyways, <laughs> she came in. Well, technically, she was referred to us mm -hmm. uh, for a, a pyometra. Um, no. We, yeah. She was referred to us for abdomen or mass in her abdomen. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it right. It was a mass She's right. Abdomen? She's right. Yeah, it was for a mass in the abdomen. She came to us because she had x-rays done at the prior clinic. That's right. And it and literally had looks like yeah. two huge, huge basketballs yes. in her belly on yeah. the x-ray. So... Uh, we went into um, debt or owner elected to do surgery and we pulled out a very large infected uterus um, that had like huge it's like balloons balloons on each of the horns. It was insane. And it was like a 10 pound dog. The dog probably weighed like five pounds afterwards. <laughs> Didn't we weigh it? I think we, I think the, I ended up weighing like two to three pounds. Yeah. Something. It's crazy like that. Um, but yeah wow neuter and spay your animals peeps yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what bob barker doesn't bob barker say that, that? he does <laughs> yep she i mean she ended up doing really well post-operatively unfortunately i think a mass we took off of her mammary gland did come back as cancer but the uterus itself was just pyometra hmm. okay just fix one problem yeah that's okay. right <laughs> absolutely <laughs> all right i'm up Yep. Uh, I had, well, I don't know if this is super unique, but it was cool to me. Um, I had a 10-month-old French bulldog 
that luckily its owners were pretty astute to noticing the clinical signs of an obstruction, um, brought it in, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, not wanting to eat. And it had eaten, um, for sure, a towel that it had chewed up. Um, and so we did x-rays, kind of similar to what Doc Wall was saying. Um, they elected to go to surgery and... There was foreign material all the way from the stomach to the colon. So um, sometimes with foreign bodies, it's in a certain location and it's small and it's just obstructing the GI tract. Um, this is what we call a linear foreign body. So never good, all the never way. good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's where you put the storm yeah. clouds coming in. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. Um, Come to find out the dog had eaten a towel and it kind of unraveled. So that was the linear structure. Um, And then also ate these really hard rubber pieces that were kind of throughout. And so it had tangled up in the the towel. Um, Anyways, we did three incisions to remove all of that. And it's pretty severe. We, you know, warned the owners it might not be a good outcome. Um... So we had to take some from the stomach and then two areas in the intestines, removed all of that, and the dog recovered and did really well. And so we were very happy. Um, but yeah, it was a, an intense one. Pays to be Crazy. young. Oh my young gosh. Dogs. Yeah, no I bet you it. got some gray hairs after that surgery yeah, yeah. or during that it was surgery. was a long surgery. Snaps for Smokey. She did good. Woo, she saved That it. was her first form body, too. <laughs> Yeah, that was not the best firstborn body. <laughs> yeah. She killed it, but yeah. like in a good way. Like she, <laughs> yeah. she nailed it. Don't she ever say not, she killed she it. Did not kill that. it. Oh, Ooh. No. Did not mean that. You can blurb that one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are so hard. The linear form bodies are always hard yeah. because they <clears throat> the strings then pull through. Yeah, that's always the thing that we're we're most scared of is that as that intestine gets accordioned up on itself, then it's tearing through that mesenteric wall side. And then they can have those micro perforations that you can't see. You just, yeah. you just can't see it. And then it sets the dog up for failure just because it's, yeah, you know, leaking intestinal fluid, which is very bad. Which is bad. It's not good. Not, not good. good. No, <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Ooh, awesome. This is sauce. Fun. I like that part of it. Yeah. All these cool stories. <laughs> wow. So now on to, Client questions. Yes. Okay. So this is a really great question. Um, so we're we'll ask it, and then you guys pipe in and say what you think. Yeah. All right. In terms of how we can help. So this is a question. This is this is the client asking the question. Yep. Question for you, ladies. We recently noticed that our nine-year-old miniature schnauzer may have some weakness in her back legs. They sometimes slide down on hardwood floors when she is excited to see us. Is this common? This question comes from Tammy Hines. <gasps> hey, Tammy Hines. Thank you. It's a good question. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good question. Uh, well, uh, you guys are the, the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> you have no experience or anything with us. <laughs> no, no. Okay. okay, well. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it could be just a little bit of arthritis. Mm. Please explain what arthritis <laughs> is. First off, spell it how you say it, and then explain it. A little bit of, maybe it's a little bit of arthritis. Um, I mean... Wood floors too, slippery. Uh, maybe she's got some long nails, so she doesn't have very good grip. Can you explain arthritis to the folks? Oh, listening in? <laughs> yes. Um, inflammation of the joints. So yeah. when you get older, as dog gets older, dogs gets older, um, their joints get inflamed and they tend to be a little more stiff yeah. stiff yes you, they, as do in humans as, as well in humans, yes. yeah i mean they talk about clients talk about like how they're they moan or groan when they're sitting down or mm-hmm. they'll circle multiple times before they yeah. sit down you yeah know, those are some common things slow to get up slow or, to get up yeah mm-hmm. slow kind of have to warm into the day or you know? limp limp as they just like after sitting for a while kind of mm-hmm. have a little gimp yeah basic arthritis signs um joint supplements always help yep um, and some non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Oh, not what? what? Oh, not ibuprofen. Never. No, no, that's Mm-mm. very bad. Make sure we put that in. Not <laughs> ibuprofen. Yeah, no. Or any other over-the-counter yeah. drug. <laughs> no yeah. leave, no Tylenol. No, no bad, 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 bad. Yeah, I think that the other thing we shouldn't 
forget about too is the wood floors can be anxiety provoking sometimes for mm-hmm. the depending on how yeah. long the dog's been able to be, you know or used to being on them or maybe you know what I did to my dog <laughs> is I put hardwood floors in my house and on the stairs and I didn't realize how much my older dog was going to be affected by it which one being this is like way oh. back like <laughs> and I was like oh my god yeah. I just aged my dog like three years like she could not she was falling down the stairs. I was like, Oh my God. (laughs) Like it was horrible. And, um, no grip. grip. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Mm -hmm. they panic and then they put their nails out and then it's like ice skating. Yeah. And then it's, you know, but like you've seen some of them where they'll get, they'll go from carpet to the hardwood floor and then they just, yeah, all yeah. their legs go out because they're like, "Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do." <laughs> you know, you just see them like yeah. this look on their face. You know, it's a panic. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So Definitely. that's a good point. Scare, like being scared or being anxious, that could be another yeah common cause. I suppose knowing more about the history, hence right? Why like histories why? are more important or so important anyway to try and yeah. Because when I read it, I thought like of. You know, arthritis for sure, but like muscle kind of wasting and muscle loss. And in dogs, like if they have arthritis, that'll happen because if you don't use it, you lose it kind of philosophy. Mm-hmm. So um, maybe if this kiddo isn't has pain somewhere and doesn't really want to be as active, then they're not as strong in their muscle to stand on slippery, awkward floors. Or that's kind of what my thought was. But nine, I mean, yeah. you know, you still could be run marathons at that age. I don't know. <laughs> Just depends on the dog. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But, well, miniature schna- schnauzer, are they? Pretty yeah. spry. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Live a long time. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I've also seen where they, as older dogs, you just don't have the same, you know, coordination mm-hmm. and strength, you yep. know. So it's just like in people yeah. where you'll trip, you know, but you're not as quick to catch yourself. Yeah. You know, like I think of my grandfather who fell, <laughs> like he just couldn't catch himself. Like yeah. he yeah. knew he, f- he knew what was happening, but he couldn't get his next foot reaction up fast times. enough. Yeah. Your yeah, reaction time, slow. you know. Yep. And so I wonder if sometimes some of that and these older, you know, maybe even older than nine, maybe older patients where they just don't have the same muscle strength. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I mean, this dog's what, nine times seven, 63 mm-hmm. in human years. Did you practice that's that true? before this episode? What? The math in your Your head. math fact. <laughs> um, no, but I did just quickly panic in my head. I didn't know if it was right. I was like, oh, I've done math oh, in a totally long time. Oh, we totally could have later been like 63. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're using a calculator right before this. Yeah, just double check. Yeah. I don't ever uh, um, put down a calculator because it's amazing. I need to actually have one on my body at all times. I don't, so I steal it from yep. the clinic. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay. I don't know where we're going with that. <laughs> okay. That so uh, wait. So most importantly, is this common? That was the end of her question. Oh, is this common? I think yeah. I think we see it a lot of times in our patients that are middle aged to older, and it comes up in like annual exams where it's just like, oh, it's something owners have noticed, but it's so gradual mm-hmm. in onset. It's not like, oh, they're really limping all of a sudden. So sometimes it just it's slow in onset, but they bring it up. And then, you know, depending on physical, like what the issue could be. Um, another thing I was going to add on to joint supplements is weight management is a biggie oh, too. Yeah. yeah. Big time. So, um, making sure that dogs at any age, is it a good ideal weight? Um, the good five out of nine ideal body yes. condition. Uh, it's not a bad score. It's a yeah, good that's score. A good, score. I know. <laughs> that's like one of the most common things I'll get a comment yeah. back about. Oh, you only gave my dog a three out of five or a five out of nine or whatever. Yes. And it's like, oh, no, that's, that's good. good. That's, a good, that's good. You don't want a five out of you five. You don't want a nine. <laughs> not yeah. want a nine. Or, or a nine. one, obviously. Harrison should show a picture of what a nine out of nine is. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Edit that one in. Yeah. 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 But I think a good physical exam can then – determine right what maybe why the dog might be doing it because if the dog has good range of motion then you either have neuromuscular weakness you know or Mm -hmm. anxiety or something else and then based on that then you can kind of tailor what the recommendations might be for them yeah by yearly exams after the what age of what six seven yeah next year right yeah yearly is that by yearly oh by yeah 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 usually right Oh well, God. yeah, the older, as you get up in age, right. for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's always helpful because things are changing, you know. So quickly. Yeah. Well, as you get older, it's quicker. Yeah. Yeah. So it is common. Tammy? 
to answer Don't the question. Worry, but we are happy to help <clears throat> however we can for your kiddo. What are some things, because she's asking this comment, I know she didn't ask this question, but if the dog is having trouble on the slippery floor, slippery mm. floor <laughs> yes. what are some things she could do? That is a great, great, great. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> we are doing great. What? what? Wow. It wow. is hot in here. That is a great question, guys. Oh, it is hot. <laughs> what um, could she do? What can she do? Help. What are some things that, what are some of the recommendations she, we've made to some folks? I, Excuse uh, me. Uh, yeah, watch your foot. <laughs> oh. you know? Um I don't really know if these actually work or not, but I've heard toe grips. Yeah, the toe grips. Mm, uh, we have yeah. a lot of clients yeah. who like them. Yeah, or just maybe putting a little yoga mats around the house. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And Seriously. the main areas where she walks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know, especially when you're not, it's just you guys. Like, who cares what your floor looks like if you're not having guests? Over. Little islands, yeah, of yoga yeah. mats, yeah, islands. And see. like I said, Joy <laughs> that is what you are. <laughs> oh, I don't know that song. I can't help you. I can't, you have to give me. You answer. don't know that song? Wait, no. what? Oh, for the love of who's Pete. it by? Dolly Parton. Oh, yeah, no, no, don't know it still. I know who Dolly Parton is. I, does anybody know that song? Islands in the sea, that is what you are. No, keep yeah. going though. You're doing great. Oh, wow. Really use the microphone Gosh, to get into guys. it. Guys, Harrison, please play that song when mm-hmm. you post mm-hmm. this. Or he says no. I, I'm, you're saying no? Okay, you keep talking. I'm finding that song. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. You know how I am about music. What other things? Well, Beck already said meds, yep. joint supplements. If it is like arthritic or a pain issue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I always remind owners like a body in motion stays in motion. So walks. if it is like muscle loss, then even if it's like a five minute walk, yeah, that's better sure. than nothing mm-hmm. just for to keep sure. the body going and build up some muscle. You can do some PT at home. Yeah. Ask Becca for some PT ideas. A little <laughs> water <laughs> treadmill action. There you go. Yeah. You were a neuro at one point. Uh, you got I some ideas, right? A neuro at one point. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Well, Tammy Hines, if we did not completely answer your question, please give us a call here at All Star. Yes, absolutely. We can give you more info. Yep. There's also, I will say, because you brought up toe grips, there's a cool video on toe grips application. Mm. And um, I think uh, think uh, Richie reviews on toe grips. Oh, nice. That's ironic. It's a video on toe grips. There's someone. Carla did a video. I can't remember. Anyway, there's a toe grip video out there somewhere. I will say putting them on is a pain Pain. in the booty. But it's a schnauzer, (laughs) so she's really little. So That's true. They also walk real funny right away. So she should definitely take a video and send it to us. (laughs) Totally. Or she could put little shoes on her. Oh. Like little Air They do make those boots. Like, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. They do make also the spray to make you not like you can stick to things, but then I've always laughed oh. that then the dog would walk around and then get like leaves and fur and dust bunnies and then it would just have these that like so feet that's like sliding. <laughs> that would be so traumatizing. Remember when you're like your spray Wait, spray you know, like a the spray, spray grip like where you know on for like when you're paws? no I'm just laughing oh. because of when you're an athlete they spray it on your legs for oh, your tape wrap. Right, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Or the, or football the sticky stuff that you step on in the basketball court. Yes. Yeah. That stuff. I don't know what that is. She's going to go to the wood floor and be like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. We All right. Well, more. we should probably wrap it up there. Okay. This was good. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah, good. Sounds yeah. good. Anybody have anything else to add? Nope. All right. Okay, everybody. I think you did great. What did you say? I think you did great. I was like, you did great, too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what did you say earlier? Great. Great. You did great, too. You did great. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for turning in to our very first episode of the Veterinary Roundtable. Remember, send in those questions and be sure to follow us on social media platforms at All Star Veterinary Clinic. We'll see you in a few weeks for episode number two. Woo! Number two.